So can you walk us through maybe the evolution of, um, of what it means for shark tourism in, in South Africa, and also maybe for the possibility of trophic cascade happening from these, um, from these orca predation events? Absolutely. And, you know, to talk about some of that arc, it's been an incredible journey. When I saw my first white shark back in 1998, at the time, nobody cared about sharks. And um, in fact, most people thought that the only good shark was a dead shark. And to see how that has changed so profoundly over the years to a place where people really have admiration and respect and a much greater understanding of sharks um, is, you know, something that gives one hope for the future and that things can change in a very, very big way, very, very quickly. But one of the uh, issues you touched on, which has been another big change, is this disappearance of white sharks from some of these key abrogation areas. So False Bay and Hearts Bay used to be known as the great white shark capital of the world. People from all over the world used to come and dive with these sharks and see these sharks um, through the cage diving operations. To now where we haven't had a confirmed white shark sighting in False Bay and increased white shark activity since 2019. So it's been a considerable shift in our thinking, our understanding and you know, as scientists trying to better understand what's happened. And it has had a knock-on impact for the tourism operators. Um, one of the positive sides of um, the tourism now is that other species have filled the niche. So you've got bronze whaler sharks and seven gill sharks that are now coming to those tour boats. And the people from all over the world are now enjoying those different species and interacting with those species. The kelp forests have also become more popular to dive in with those cat shark species. And we also have the blue and maker shark diving. So the, the kind of product has diversified across these different shark species. And in the absence of white sharks, these other species have become bolder. And um, they never used to approach the boats when the white sharks were there because they'd get eaten. 